Welcome back, guys, to part five, the final uh, part of the, of the tutorial of how to make the game of life. Uh, today, we're just going to be implementing some features that allows us to uh, make a manual input or make it autonomize input. So first, let's just import a few libraries. Uh, we're going to be using key event, and we're going to be using uh, Java ort event uh, key listener. Make sure I put a semicolon there. Just going to put some space here because it's a bit too long, and just add the yeah, just add the key listener to here. And we're getting a little red line here because we haven't imported some of the stuff. But first, we're going to add uh, the key listener here. And we're going to set a focusable to true. Now we're just going to go down here. And we're basically just going to call the um, abstract method. The abstract class methods. So public void uh, key uh, pressed key pressed by key event e public void key tight key event e and public void key released key event e okay awesome now then what we want to do is um i've actually already deleted it whoopsies uh, so before we had our spawn in here uh you just want to uh, get rid of that and we'll also want the time to not uh, start so get rid of that as well and we're gonna say that um, let's just go down here we're gonna say if key is pressed then we're going to say int code is equal to e dot get key code and if that code is equal to e dot uh, vk by r which means if you press r on your keyboard then that means um we'll do this And let's make sure we add a repaint here, otherwise it's going to be a bit of a delay. But what we also want to do is if we want uh, to clear all the um, random input, so we just want to set back to zero, uh, I think we're going to have to make a new... Yeah, we're going to make a new method. Okay. So we're just going to go under check. We're going to say uh, private void clear. And basically, what it is just going to do is that before life be for life is going to equal zero. Because that way it will be off. So once we press, so else if code is equal to um, v e dot v k by c c for clear r for reset. Then we want to do ah I forgot what it's already called. Um, we want a clip. We want to clear it. So 
So let's just go ahead and run that. Whoops, I'd accidentally press debug. Yep, so you see here that there's nothing. Once we press R, it should reset. And once we press C, as you can see, um, it clears. But what I've done for my spawn, because before we just wanted spawn to work only once. So uh, I'll, I'll keep it for now, but I don't think we'll be using it. Um, so it starts, so this only makes it run once, and we don't want that anymore, so we're just going to delete, and just going to um, no, uh, I forgot how to do it. Um, trying to indent it less. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So now that if we run it, it's going to be empty. We're going to press R. It's going to be filled with random inputs. When we press C, it clears it. R, C, and we can just do that forever and ever. But once we press R, we want the uh, the timer to start. So when the timer is start, we'll just say uh, spawn and then timer dot uh, not timer time dot start is here. And for here we say time dot stop. And I'll just add a little bit more to this. Uh, when we release the mouse, we don't want it to start anymore. Instead, um, what we want to do is if we want it to start it, Uh, if we just want to start, sorry, I just had a brain dead moment. If we want to start it, it will be e dot uh, vk. Uh, what would be a good letter? Uh, s? I think s would be pretty good, right? S for start. And I probably should have made this to a switch statement, but oh well, too late. Else, if code is equal to e dot vk a a for abandoned time dot stop. Else, it's time dot uh, start. And basically, we're just gonna. Uh, delete this bit here because we don't need it anymore. And now, once we run it, I can just put inputs here and it does nothing. If I put it here, it still does nothing, but once I start it, we get this. So let's clear that and let's actually make uh, some of uh, the patterns inside the game of life and of course it doesn't show up with Wikipedia I want the Wikipedia um, yep here we are so we're just gonna make uh, this so we're just gonna run that uh, stop and rerun. Apparently, I didn't close it. I'm just going to have a look at this. And basically, the easiest way to do it is if there's an L here and there's something here. And now, if we press start, we can see that it moves 
along forever. And if we wait long enough, it's going to show up on the other side of the map, as we saw here. So we can now press A to stop it, and we can see what happens if uh, if we drew a, um, a still life. And now let's start it again, and it just obliterates it. So we want to stop it, and let's just have some fun. And see what this what this does. So as you can see here, it makes a very complicated looking pattern that goes on for a very long while. So I think that will be it for this video guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a um, comment down below if uh, you have any questions. And I'll see you all in the next video.